Chris, what is our fourth main topic today? This comes from Vanish. Hello, John and team. I saw on Twitter today that She-Hulk became the most watched Marvel Disney Plus trailer ever, not counting the Falcon and Winter Soldier, which included a Super Bowl spot. I'm quite surprised because I didn't know She-Hulk was that popular. What do you guys think about the numbers, and do you think this could be the biggest show they've done yet? Thank you. All right, thanks a lot for sending that in. And I remember being a D23 a couple of years ago when Kevin Feige came on stage and announced a lot of new projects. They announced Ms. Marvel, they announced Moon Knight, and they announced She-Hulk. And I honestly never thought they would do She-Hulk, but here they were. And, and, and listen, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of derivative characters. You know, I, we got Flash. Well, you got to have Kid Flash. We have Hulk. Well, you got to have She-Hulk. I mean, I, I'm not a, a big fan of that. Like, just make it a totally separate kind of character, but whatever. So then they now say cast Tatiana Maslany, good Canadian kid for it. So that instantly got my attention because she's fabulous. That got my attention. But I honestly did not know if there was going to be a big swell of support and people interested in the show. Well, apparently there are because more people watched this trailer online than any other trailer that a Disney Plus MCU show has done so far. Again, saving Falcon the Winter Soldier because Falcon the Winter Soldier also had that little Super Bowl uh, thing that it aired that during. Sports ball yeah, show. that little sports ball event that they had that added to the numbers. But I mean, it is crazy. More people jumped on watching the trailer of this than they did for Loki. More people rushed to watch the trailer for She-Hulk in the first 24 hours than they did for Moon Knight or for, uh, you know, or for Hawkeye or for any of these things. For She-Hulk? Anyway, this comes to us from the folks over at The Hollywood Reporter who wrote the following. Fans clearly liked liked it when she was angry. The first trailer for She-Hulk, Attorney of Law, ripped through 78 million views in the first 24 hours that the trailer was online Tuesday. That enormous viewership is the second largest trailer debut for a Marvel Studios series behind only 2021's The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which included a Super Bowl spot. The first look at the series, which stars Tatiana Maslany, spread through social media like wildfire, immediately becoming the number one trend on Twitter. The nine-episode series becomes a host of MCU vets, including... Mark Ruffalo as Smart Hulk, or Professor Hulk, uh, Tim Roth reprising his role as, yes, Emil Blonsky, a.k.a. The Abomination, and fan favorite, again, yes, Benedict Wong, Yay, Wong. as Wong. Yay, Wong, indeed. I love that Wong is going to be in here. Um, listen, again, I have watched this trailer about 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 times. I... I, again, I listed it on my pros and cons yesterday. The one of the cons was the CGI on She-Hulk herself. Again, I, I attribute that to two things. One, there's an uncanny valley with her. Unlike somebody said, well, I mean, Abomination looked great. Well, yeah, Abomination looked great because he's a monster. Yeah, there's like, no gauge for what he's supposed exactly, to really Exactly, there's look no like. uncanny valley there. Yeah. Like even Ruffalo's Hulk, while he bears a resemblance to Ruffalo, it's very different. Her, they're trying to make her look straight human, just with green skin. And so there's a little bit of an uncanny valley there. I admit it, it's a little off-putting. It's not great CGI, but guess what? I bring this one up all the time, but it, it bears saying here. Did I love the look of of She-Hulk in this. I didn't love the look of it because the, the CGI, but guess what? Black Lightning had the most God awful costume in the history of superhero anything. And it was hard to look at a lot, but I loved that show because the characters were great. The stories were fun. The backgrounds were interesting that made it. So even though it was the most God awful, ugly costume to look at, the show was fantastic. And I really loved watching it. Am I kind of off put by the CGI of the character? Yes, I am. But that's not going to have any input impact on whether or not I really enjoy this show. And everything else about this trailer was so bang on to the tone of the comics. And again, I've, I was asking for years for it to be an Ally McBeal set in a superhero world. And that's totally what it felt like. So it checked all the boxes for me. I, I'm surprised, though, I got to admit. I am surprised. If you had told me yesterday that more people would watch this trailer than Loki or Hawkeye or any of the others, I would have said no way. But here we are. So that's kind of a cool thing to see. Anyway, uh, Chris, shattering number records yeah. here for this kind of stuff. What does that tell you? I mean, it tells me that She-Hulk fans are showing up. She is a wildly popular comic book character. You know, she was Deadpool before Deadpool was Deadpool. Mm. She was very, very self-referential. In Sensational She-Hulk number nine is when she first got super, super meta and ripped villains out of the pages of her own comic book. She yelled at Bobby Chase, the editor, about how she was being drawn incorrectly. Like, she is a really, really cool character. And on top of it, she's really hot. 
All right. Yeah. <laughs> so I think people wanted to tune into this one who were diehard fans. And two, because this is such a different kind of show that we're getting. And this kind of goes back to the other question we were talking about before about having quirky niche characters pop up. This is the way to do it in these streaming shows, right? Just like we saw with Peacemaker, just like we we're hopefully going to see with Ms. Marvel. Having these characters have these nice long runs on a show to introduce them, explore them, and play with the genre within the superhero realm. I think people are excited to see something different that maybe is a little fresh and new from what we've kind of seen from superhero movies, right? We know Hulk smash, but how does Hulk smash on a date? <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, the end of that trailer when she's carrying that guy, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little worried about that guy's safety. Oh, man. I, I'm not worried about that guy at all. I think that guy's doing have a great just time. fine. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, Aaron, are you surprised to see the popularity of this thing? Or, like, what do you think? Well, one of the things, it's not necessarily the she, to me, I didn't really know that there were that many She-Hulk fans bubbling underneath the surface waiting for the trailer to come out. And maybe that is a part of it. But I think that something else that we should consider is the power of publicity. And we all know about projects that, you know, sort of sneak up on us and then all of a sudden they create a buzz and then a, a bubble and then a, or a, a buzz and then a bubbling and then a rumbling and then a roar. But this is something that's straight out the gate. I mean, if you just Google She-Hulk, the variety of publications that are covering this, whether it's Jezebel or Women's Health or CNN, Wired, Variety. I mean, they are going across the board and they're focusing on different That's aspects of yeah. it. And a big part of it is, hey, like in Women's Health, check out um, – uh, Tatiana's workout routine. Hey, check out uh, Jamila uh, Jam Jamila Jamil. Jamila Jamil. Mm -hmm. ja check out her workout routine on women's health and how she got that buff bod. You know, Jezebel, the uh, the, the the headline is giving us the insanely buff She-Hulk we deserve. Um, you know, all these different different genres of outlets are covering this, and every time you click on one of them, what's the first thing that pops up? the link to the trailer. Yeah. And so every time, if I'm in women's health and I want to go, oh, She-Hulk, that's a workout routine. I'm trying to get a little bit more tone. Let me click on that. And I watch the trailer. That's the first thing that I see. So I think that it's not just about the excitement of the show. It's the fact that they were really smart about understanding if we want to create a buzz about this, we have to create it across the board. And we need to not just get comic fans excited about this show we need to make this a show that women who may not necessarily have uh uh comic books on their on the forefront of what they're looking for make them really interested in watching it and go oh yeah she hulks a show that i really want to watch i want to watch this buff smart woman you know kicking ass and so i think that the publicity machine behind this is a big factor that's driving these numbers Ray, I wanted to ask you about, like, we see these numbers are, like, this big. Why do you think that we have more people tuning in to watch the She-Hulk trailer than watch the trailer for Loki or WandaVision or Hawkeye or, or any of these things? What, what, what stands I, out to you? Man, I wish you would ask me that before the show because I have no idea, to be honest. Like, I I, I always thought it was going to be one of the ones I that actually fly under the radar that nobody I did, watches. too. Yeah. yeah. But I'm... For me, I actually am looking forward to Miss Marvel. I mean, that that show. So there's there's a thing for everybody, I guess. Yeah, I, uh, I guess that's the thing that Marvel's tapping into. There's a thing for everybody. Anyway, guys, the question is for you. Why do you think that she has gotten that many views in the first 24 hours? Maybe just people like me were really kind of underestimating just how popular and passionate of a following that She-Hulk has. I, I, I admit, I probably did underestimate that. What do you guys think? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to take a minute and thank the sponsor of this video, ExpressVPN. Now, you guys have all already heard about ExpressVPN. I've talked about it a number of times in my videos. It's the best way to protect your privacy online and to give you that security online that we all need. And there's another practical reason why viewers of this show love using ExpressVN. Take Netflix, for example. You see, thousands of shows on Netflix are only available outside of the U.S., so you need to change your country if you want to access them, and ExpressVPN lets you do just that. Because what the ExpressVPN app does is it encrypts your data and reroutes it through server locations of your choice. This not only protects your data, but it also lets you control which country you want Netflix to think that you're in. ExpressVPN lets 
lets you choose from over 90 different countries, so every time you run out of stuff to watch, you can just fire up the app on your laptop or smart TV, switch your country, and hit connect. And once you refresh your page, you'll get a brand new selection of shows. It's just that simple. And those reasons and many more is why ExpressVPN is the number one rated VPN provider by publishers like TechRadar and The Verge. So guys, visit expressvpn.com slash campia right now and get three extra months of their service for free. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S vpn.com slash campia. Go to expressvpn.com slash campia to learn more. 